What's up guys, welcome back to Nervous L. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a glitch to get yourself the dragon fruit for absolutely free and how you guys can make the dragon fruit version too. So basically the upcoming versions. Yes guys, you heard me correct. I'm basically going to show you guys a glitch to get yourself the dragon fruit and how you guys can make it the upcoming version too of the dragon fruit. So basically the new dragon fruit. So uh, yeah, so this is completely free guys. You don't need to pay any any robux or anything like that all you guys can do is just follow along with me while i'm doing the glitch and that's all you guys can do after you do all those things you would basically get yourself the version 2 of dragon and the dragon fruit for absolutely free so yeah guys let's get on to this video so basically to start off with this glitch all you guys can do is just be in the first sea and the pirate strata area now when you're here all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the pirate like uh, spawn guy so this pirate area spawn guy, the home point guy. So basically go ahead and go over to him, set your home point. Now after I've done that, all you guys can do, just go ahead and go over to Middletown. So yeah, so as you guys can see, I already have the dragon fruit. So I'm basically going to make this the version 2 version. So uh, yeah. All right. So I'll be explaining how you guys can take the dragon fruit and make it version 2 if you guys already have the dragon fruit and when if you guys don't have the dragon fruit how to get the dragon fruit and how to basically make it version 2 too. So yeah basically what you guys can do just go ahead and go over to blocks with deal over here. Click on continue. Now basically if you guys have the dragon fruit like me all you guys can do just basically choose a different fruit and click on view on it. If you guys don't have the dragon fruit all you guys can do just basically click on view on the dragon fruit guys. So basically do the same thing that I'm doing to the dragon fruit if you guys don't have the dragon fruit. So as you guys can see that's all you guys can do. So basically what I did to that other fruit you have to do to the dragon fruit uh, if you guys don't have the dragon fruit. And if you guys have the dragon fruit as equipped or equip all you guys can do just basically do what I did. So basically choose a different fruit and do that. So uh, yeah. Now after I've done that all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the like the uh, like the marine start area. So there is a block suit dealer too. So uh, yeah basically all you guys can do is just do the same thing to that block suit dealer too. All right, and as you guys can see, I am here. Now I guess what I do just go ahead and go to this guy, click on continue, and basically do the same thing. So as I said before, if you guys have the dragon fruit, you have to do what I'm doing right now. If you guys don't have the dragon fruit, all you guys can do just basically come view on the dragon fruit and basically do the same thing that I'm doing to this fruit to the dragon fruit. So uh, yeah, as you guys can see, I am done with that. Now after I've done that, all you guys can do just basically kill at least one NPC in here. So uh, yeah. So why we're killing uh, like a random NPC is because we need to save that we are at like the uh, Marine Start area. So the best thing to do to save uh, in the game is basically kill an NPC. So uh, yeah. Now after I've done that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to like the Pirate Start area. So basically click on the home point and it should take you to the Pirate Start area. Alright, so as you guys can see, now I'm back in the Pirate Start area. Now you guys can do just go ahead and go over to this blocks with dealer and basically do the same thing as we did to the other blocks with dealers. Alright, so for the people that have the dragon fruit and wants to make it version 2, you have to click on the same fruit as all three of the blocks fruit dealers guys, okay? So yeah, just saying that because if you guys chose different fruits, the glitch would not work, okay? So uh, yeah, now after I've done that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to Middletown again. So just go ahead and go over to Middletown. And we are... Here, now when you're here, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to the weapons dealer, click on this guy, click on slingshot, and basically purchase the slingshot. Even if you have the slingshot, you have to do this, guys. Now, after I've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to, like, the jungle area. So, uh, yeah, just uh, go ahead and go over to the jungle area. And as you guys can see, I'm in the jungle area right now. All you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the fruit gacha basically go ahead and go to this guy click on all right in here basically guys can do just click on once in any chat thing in this guy and click on never mind just like that basically what you guys can do is interact with this guy okay so yeah now after i've done that all you guys can do just defeat the gorilla king and somebody is already doing that so i'm just gonna help this guy just like that 
So, uh, yeah, all you guys can do is defeat the Grill King, guys. You guys can get the quest if you guys want to. So, uh, yeah. Now, after I've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to this guy. The block fruit gacha. And now you must have enough money to get yourself a random fruit, guys, okay? So, yeah, basically buy yourself a random fruit. And I got myself the flame fruit. All right. So, uh, yeah, now after I've done that, all you guys can do is just do whatever you want with the fruit, guys. It doesn't really matter what you do with the fruit. Uh, so let me just see if I can store it. All right, I can't store it. So I'll just give it to one of these guys Okay All right, so uh, yeah now after I've done that all you guys can do is just basically just go ahead and go over to Middletown again, okay? So uh, yeah so, uh, you guys can go over to Middletown or to the Pirate Starter area or the Marine Starter area for this next part. So, yeah, basically what you guys can do is just go ahead and go to any part where there is a Bloxwood dealer, okay? So, yeah, now you guys can do is just click on this Bloxwood dealer, click on continue. Now, when you have this menu open, what you guys can do is just reset your character just like this. Now, after you reset your character, it should basically glitch out the blocks of dealer. So, as you guys can see, it glitched out the blocks of dealer, and I can move too. So, if you guys can't move, all you guys can do is just basically keep like uh, doing this again and again and again until you can move. So, as you guys can see, I got it in the first try. I can move. So, as I said before, if you guys can't move, basically try again. Basically, click on exit, click on the black box, and basically try again, guys. Okay, so yeah. So, now basically, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the power start area. So basically, you just click on the uh, like the teleport thing. All right, and as you guys can see, we are home now. I guess I do just basically click on any of the NPCs in here. So I'm just gonna click on this guy right here. So as you guys can see, I'm very close to him and I'm punching him. So yeah, basically, I have done that. Now all you guys can do is just basically leave the game, guys. Just leave the game just like this. Like that, and as you guys can see. I am uh, leaving and going into Blox Fruits again. Alright. And basically choose Pirates, guys. Just like that. Now, after I've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to the Blox Fruits dealer. And basically do the same thing as we did to, like, the other dealers. So, uh, yeah. Alright. And I chose this fruit. So, I'm just going to basically do that to the same fruit. So, uh, yeah, now after I've done that, all you guys can do is just go ahead and go over to, like, the uh, Middletown. So, basically, use a boat, fly, or whatever, just get to Middletown. And basically, all you guys can do is just uh, go to the weapons dealer, okay? So, uh, yeah, as you guys can see, the weapons dealer, all you guys can do is just click on this guy, click on Slingshot, and click on Purchase. You have to get the Slingshot again, guys, okay? So, yeah, even if you have the Slingshot, you have to do that. Now, after I've done that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to, like, the jungle area. And basically use your slingshot to kill one NPC. That's all you guys gotta do. Alright. You can only use the slingshot, guys. You cannot do anything else to basically lower their health or something like that. So, uh, yeah. Only use the slingshot. Okay. We are almost done over here. And we are done. Now, after I've done that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to, like, Middletown again. Just go ahead and go over to Middletown. And when you're here, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to the board dealers and basically get yourself a board, guys. So, I'm just going to get myself the free one. The free one works the best with this. So, yeah, basically get yourself the free one. Now, you guys can do just sit on the boat, drive it a little, just like this. Now, jump out and basically start pushing the boat. As you guys can see, I'm pushing it little by little. And all you guys can do just basically die while doing that. So, uh, yeah, if you guys are like the shark race, this would be a little harder. So, uh, yeah, basically just reset yourself while like pushing. That should do the trick too. So, yeah, now uh, as you guys can see, now you guys can do just basically go ahead and go to the same ship. Drive it a little again and basically do the same thing. Alright. Just keep pushing. And basically die just like that. Now after I've done that, all you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to the same like ship. So basically the boat. Alright. Basically just uh, like uh, 
sit on it and basically go ahead and go over to the different island and basically change the boat to something else. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over to the closest one that I got, the Pirate Star area. So uh, yeah. What you guys can do is just basically park closest to like the like the boat dealers, okay? So basically park the closest, just like this. Now after you park it like that, what you guys can do is just basically go ahead and go over to one of the boat dealers and basically change it to something else. Not the free one guys, basically just something else. And as you guys can see, I got myself the slope. Now you guys can do is just basically get on the slope, drive it a little. And basically do the same thing that we did earlier. So basically use the slope for this one too guys, okay? Alright, and as you guys can see, I'm pushing again. And uh, yeah, basically after I've done all those things, so you guys can do just basically wait like 4 hours or like 5, I don't really remember. It's uh, between like 4 or 5 hours. And after you waited that long, you should get yourself the dragon version 2 if you guys have the dragon fruit. Or you should get yourself the dragon fruit and the version 2 version of the dragon fruit for absolutely free. So uh, yeah guys, basically all you guys can do is just wait until the blocks with dealer shop refreshes and a little more so that... It basically takes effect and that should basically do the trick and give you guys the dragon fruit and the version 2 version 5 absolutely free. So yeah guys that is basically it from me. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.